Welcome back to Midwest Access. What's trending on two new movies took up the weekend office box. The ballerina vampire movie Abigail fell from number five, sinking its teeth into $5.3 million. Civil War added $7 million, but that dropped it to fourth place. These numbers sometimes seem insane to me. Uh, <laughs> Godzilla Kong. Would you go see this? No, no, absolutely not. This would be something that my boyfriend would probably go really? and see. Really? I think so, yeah. <laughs> it's a Godzilla Kong, the new empire. It stayed in third place with $7.2 million. Unsung hero about the family of a singing duo for King and Country. And oh, excuse me, and for King and Country opened in second place with $7.8 million. And the tennis romantic drama Challenger, starring Zendaya, took the match, scoring $15 million to debut at number one. I love Zendaya. She is like so it? awesome. Yeah, she She's can do anything. She's just so cool and so just fantastic. Right? That would, I haven't, um, I don't usually, I'm not able to get to the movies very often, but that looked like one that, like, maybe would be right? worth going and Trying checking out. It. I've seen some of the trailers and some of the little previews and whatever and it, it looks it, good it looks interesting it does it does, <laughs> it does. <laughs> and more movie news one of today's top downloads was disney's first trailer for the new lion king movie oh, i didn't know they were making a new one i didn't either Mus mufasa the lion king tells mufasa's backstory Ooh, okay it's a prequel to the 2019 photorealistic movie among the cast uh aaron pierre is mufasa and beyonce returns to voice Nala. Her daughter, Blue Ivy, is the voice of King Simba's daughter. A number of actors from the 2019 film cast are also returning. Mufasa the Lion King hits theaters on December 20th. And we're going to have, like, Disney origin stories. I'm going to have to go to that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, a Nebraska couple did not let a tornado cancel their wedding plans. These guys are hardcore. Jessica and Austin Bracker got married Saturday in Waterloo. The tornado tore through the town ahead of the festivities, but it left their venue without, and it left their venue without power. But the couple decided to go ahead with their plans and move their entire setup indoors. Good for them. They said the guests all rolled with the punches, helped them celebrate their moment. I'm sure they were carrying chairs and <laughs> the couple said overall the day was perfect and they had a great time. Oh, that's Aww. fantastic. I love that. I love that they didn't let that ruin their, their day. Absolutely. Well, a gold watch of richest of, of richest Titanic passenger sells at sold at auction. The gold a excuse me, a gold watch worn by the wealthiest passenger aboard the Titanic sold at auction for a record breaking one point five million dollars. Wow. That was several times the estimated value of the timepiece before Saturday's auction. The watch belonged to John Jacob Astor the fourth who died when the Great Ocean Liner sank when hitting an iceberg in 1912. Astor, who was the richest man in the world at the time, made sure his pregnant wife survived by putting mm. her in the last available lifeboat. Wow. The watch was later found on his body. The auctioneer says the winning $1.5 million bid makes it the most ever paid for a single item from the ship. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's a lot for a watch. Absolutely. Crazy. <laughs> the next story shows what can happen when you give a hoot. <laughs> Iowa police officer, Aww. Officer Mason Roberts, was surveying storm damage over the weekend, and he found an animal in need. He and another officer were just kind of rummaging through the debris at Oakwood Cemetery Saturday morning, and somebody told them about a bird that they'd found. They didn't waste any time. They scooped in, swooped, swooped in for the rescue, and the baby owl is still feeling sore from its injuries, I'm sure. Uh, but the bird was transported to the Iowa Bird Rehabilitation Center, and he's already showing signs of progress Sunday uh, excuse me, showing signs of progress already on Sunday, and the owl will soon be transferred to another rehab center, but it'll be a couple months before he's back in the wild. I mean, oh, that know. must be a little, little guy right? because he's still so fluffy. <laughs> he looks like a stuffed animal, really. He does. Oh. I don't think I've seen an owl like that. It's adorable. Yeah. No, I, yeah, so, so fluffy like that. So cute. <laughs> so. We still have lots to come. Sing Out Loud has this concert coming up at Trinity Lutheran Church, and you will get a sneak peek when we come back.